I'll shut up. What else do we have to do? <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts me on the inside. <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? We are back at the property at 914. Now, a week or so ago, we did a video where Amy was nice enough to let me help actually get my hands on a little bit of the projects, and that was fun, but it's really getting close. And so we thought we'd give you a little bit of a behind the scenes look at what the project at 914 is shaping up. Now, what Amy will tell you is, it's not done. Mm -mm. It's not done, it's not ready, but, it, but it's getting there. And so we thought we'd give you a quick behind the scenes look of what this property is going to look like. So the front of this house is really quite lovely and it fronts up to Cambridge Road, but most people are gonna come in the back. And so that's why we wanted to start here in the mud room. Amy did a big transformation on this kind of small room, but I think it makes a big difference in the house. So can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. The driveway being back there, your first place you're gonna come in is through here. So I took the um, solid door off and put a door in with a window. That allowed us to have some light. Um, when we bought this place, it was plumbed and they had their washer and dryer in here. I don't think that's a great um, first impression and so I moved the washer and dryer downstairs and made this a, a cool little mud room. Got a bench for you to sit on and put your shoes on, take your shoes off, little hooks to hang your coat, fun little cabinets to put things, um, whether it be your hats and your scarves or your cleaning supplies or maybe canned goods from the kitchen. Um, new stairwell, um, the old one was looking kind of kind of dreary, it was a kind of mess, it wasn't really attached very well, so we put new stair treads on, um, painted that all up, and, and just made this a nice welcoming place that I think you'll be you know, impressed to show off instead of your dirty laundry. Right, and so that's what we've done in the mud room. Now we're gonna take you up these little steps into sort of the first floor area, and we'll show you what, what happened there. Okay, so here we are on the main floor. Aim, why don't you talk a little bit about the rooms that are right here and what you've done to each one. Okay, um, this floor hasn't been um, quite the transformation as some of the others just because it's already beautiful. The woodwork is just gorgeous in these rooms. Uh, we've got the main living room here and then a dining room back behind us and then the kitchen off to, um, to the left of that. Um, we redid the floors, Kovacs came in and re-sanded um, down and re-stained and, and, and polyed all of the floors and so they're beautiful they again. They look amazing. Uh, we need to wash and, and polish up the rest of the woodwork but we've painted everything and um, we did paint the, the fireplace. Right, this was, I mean, this is one of the rooms that where we fell in love with the house Absolutely. to begin with. It was so gorgeous. that's why we wanted to just kind of yeah. Clean it up, make it nicer. Kind of natural. Yeah, absolutely. But the big transition that you did make on this is in the kitchen. Can you talk a little bit about that? That was a big one. Yeah, the kitchen was very outdated. It's a smaller kitchen, and um, you know, like most old houses are. Um, but it was very cut up, and it was um, they had added an addition on in the I think maybe around the 60s or the 70s um, to the back of the house. So there's a small kitchenette behind it, and it had kind of been closed off the way that they had rearranged their um, stove and things like that. So we opened that up, made the, the entryway a little bigger. We actually added some woodwork to kind of pull that in from the rest of the house. Um, and just, you know, new cabinets, new appliances, new everything that way. Um, it just makes it look like a totally different space. It does. And I, I have a feeling this was one of those that's going to cost me money on the other end because Amy really likes... Yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> ...the countertops and yeah, stuff. absolutely. So. Cool. All right. So that's the main floor. You want to go to the second floor next? Yeah, sure. We'll go to the second floor. Okay, so here we are on the second floor. A lot of work was done up here. Uh, bedrooms, bathrooms, talk a little bit about that. Um, so this floor has three bedrooms, um, nice size bedrooms, and then also a bathroom and a closet off of this floor. So um, mainly in the bedrooms, we refinished the floors, painted the walls, and we add ceiling lights and fans in all of the, um, well, two of the, out of the three bedrooms up here because they didn't have ceiling lighting. So that's a big improvement there. And then the bathroom, we completely gutted the bathroom and started over in there. Um, a nice new tub and surround, new 
you uh, vanities and all that good stuff, uh, tiled the floor. And, you saw that in the yeah, last video. Right. It helped with that. Yeah, it's that, and that's what made it perfect. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so that's basically what we did with the second floor. And one of the things that was a surprise is we pulled up carpet and found that there was nice hardwood yeah. underneath it. And again, shout out to Kovic Connection. They helped us refinish all these. They look great. They're beautiful. As you're putting together a video like this, it reminds you how big this place is. Now we're up on the third floor. It's almost like a bonus space. It's one of my favorite places in the in the whole house. So can you talk a little bit about what we did here? Yeah, sure. Um, again, we pulled up the, the carpets and there were beautiful hardwood floors. So we went ahead and finished those again. Um, exposed some brick on the, the chimney that's going up, which is kind of cool. Gives it a little bit of character. Um, there's lots of little cubbies and nooks that you could put storage things in, or maybe, you know, if you use this for a bedroom, you could you could hang clothes in one of them or whatever, but lots of little places. I don't know, I don't know what, I can't wait to see what someone uses this for whether it's a family room or a bedroom or a hobby room or a place to work out or maybe an office but there's so many cool little features um, little crevices and places to to put things and go and it's just a neat little space yeah this this has kirby's office written all over yeah yeah absolutely You file this space under, it just keeps going. Um, and as you can kind of see, we're still a little bit under construction in this room. We have, I'll shut up. What else do we have to do? <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts me on the inside. <laughs> Um, this room is, is close to being done, but we are going to add a ceiling fan um, in here for some ceiling lights because there's no lights. As you can see by the shadows, we've got a little spotlight going on. So need some lighting in here, um, but we've carpeted it, painted it. Uh, and we still need a little painting and the trim trim work and stuff. But, but yeah, but this is a nice little bedroom. Above can, the garage. Above right? the garage, kind of off the kitchen. You could use for a master bedroom. You could use for another family room. Just, it's got a lot of different op opportunities there. And right off this, there's a bathroom. A full bath, yes. Yeah, so I think, like in, in my mind, this is the master, but you wouldn't have to do it this way. Just depends on you know what your situation is. If you have little ones, you might want to be with them. If you have teenagers, you definitely want to be away from them. So, <laughs> just depends. And now finally we've come downstairs to the basement. This is one of the places that went through a pretty big transformation. So, um, and it's also one of my favorite spaces. I feel like I say my favorite play space <laughs> in the house a lot, but this is probably the place where I can envision myself spending the most time. So talk a little bit about what you did down here. All right, so it was just kind of a hot mess. There had been some water damage. Um, so we ripped up carpet. Uh, we took out, they had, um, moved the water pipes way back when and still there was a big bump in the wall over here. So we Forgot took that out, that. flattened that out. So that way you can put a couch or whatever you wanted down here. Um, as I mentioned earlier, they had the laundry upstairs. We moved that downstairs. So there's a nice little area there. We walled off um, an area for the utility to hide the, the, the brand new HVAC system and the water heater um, and make a bathroom um, down here. So, and the, there was a bathroom before, but it was, uh, <laughs> nothing anybody's going to use. I mean, it was really old and, yeah. and yucky. So um, that's all brand new. Um, you know, I, I don't know if we've mentioned, but we've we put brand new plumbing in this house. It had knob and tube before, so we replaced that right. with a whole new electrical panel. Um, the, the, the plumbing is new, like I mentioned, and we took it all the way even out to the alley um, and replaced all of that because there was a crack in that and we've got a back um, backflow valve on there so that you don't have to worry about sewage or water coming back into your into your basement in case there would be any kind of um, flooding. Mm -hmm. So that is um, hopefully a peace of mind for people going forward. Right. Um, and I think that'll be really nice. So uh, in addition to this looking really cool and being a fun man cave or family room or whatever, it's it's safe, it's ready to go, and I, I think it's gonna be a good home for someone. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad you brought that up because I was gonna I was gonna ask you about it. Those are the things that you spent money on that no one will ever see, yeah. but it will, you know, it pays dividends by there not being problems moving forward, right? Absolutely, I, I hope that I've got a house that you can move into with a peace of mind that, that you can be here safe with your family and, and everything's taken care of.
Okay, so that's our behind the scenes look at 914 Cambridge Road. Amy's done a great job. We'll, we'll do a final video to kind of show you. This is still a construction zone. We were, we were literally moving stuff around as we're shooting to try and give you the best look at it. But, uh, and we'll do something moving forward. So if you like what you're seeing, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. We'd love to, to uh, have you come along for this journey and journeys moving forward.